Hello. In our parasha, Parashat Chayes Sarah, we learn about different types of hospitality, bringing guests home, achnasat orchim. First, we learn last week about Sedom. Sedom had no achnasat orchim whatsoever. That's one extreme. No achnasat orchim whatsoever. Nobody's allowed. It's the law of the land. Secondly, there's achnasat orchim on the other extreme of Avraham Avinu. He's totally out. He goes all the way out to, for the guest. He gives him everything. He invites him without asking for anything in return. And then you have in this parasha the way Lavan behaves when he hears about Eliezer in town. He, find, he finds out that Eliezer has money and then he invites him in. With that, he teaches us that there's another type of achnasat orchim. That's achnasat orchim with the interest. You have something in it that you're trying to gain. The Pasuk says, Right away he runs to invite Eliezer. As soon as he sees the jewelry, he sees all the wealth, he runs to see maybe he can gain something and he invites Eliezer. But then we have something that we need to understand and that is Rivka. Rivka, when she sees Eliezer, she does everything she can in order to accommodate him. She gives water to him. She draws water from the well for the camels. And then Eliezer gives her jewelry and gifts. And she takes it. Why is it considered something positive? She's, Rivka is the one that teaches us the way Bat Israel should behave, should act. And she will be the one taking over Sarai Menu's role. She's the one that Avraham Avinu would want to have for Yitzchak as a wife. Therefore, we need to understand, wouldn't it be nicer, better, and more accommodating not to take any gifts and just give everything the way Avraham Avinu did? And that is the secret that Rivka teaches us. That there's another type of Achnasat Ruchim, and that is making the other person, the ho- the guest, Making the guest feel good when the guest comes to your house and brings a bottle of wine. If you reject it, you make him feel bad. And therefore, Rivka was also put to the test to see if she also would take the gifts. And Rivka didn't, probably didn't want to have the gifts. It's not her mission to take gifts, but rather to give and make Eliezer to feel good. But part of making the other feel good is when the other wants to give you something, you take it. When a guest comes to the house and he brings flowers, if you reject it, you make him feel good. Therefore, you take it in order for him to feel better. And that is what we learn from this very parasha. It's also meduyak in the psukim, because it says over here that after Rivka was drawing water for the, from the well and giving Eliezer and his camels, still Eliezer was, the Pasuk says, he was looking to see if Hashem had succeeded him. What was he waiting for? She's already passed every test. The next Pasuk says that he gave her all the gifts. He wanted to see if she would take them or reject them. Rejecting gifts sometimes is considered something humiliating, something degrading for the person that's given you, and therefore Rivka even passed that test and took it not for our own benefit, to make Eliezer feel good.